Hey guys, it's Vince and today I'm on the test bench doing what I love to do and that is right now I'm working with a new prototype that's about to hit the market very shortly. And what it is, is this board right here. And I want to just discuss this test setup so you guys understand exactly what you're going to be looking at. Um, this board is a go-between. It goes inside of you actually connecting to your controller. And you can see I've got my PLCM. Uh, for Pumotics right here, which is an Ethernet controller, and then it goes into the board, comes out on the other side, and we've got a DB25 cable connecting to our G540 integrated 4-axis driver from Gecko Drive. Okay. Now, what this board does is it's a step and direction signal filter, as well as a signal multiplier. Now, why is that such a cool thing to talk about? Well. Many of you realize that the G540 itself has a locked frequency of 100 kilohertz, meaning you can't accelerate the drive any faster than 100 kilohertz as far as speed in which it receives signals. That dictates the speed of your motors. I get that question a lot. What's the RPM you can achieve? Well, in a perfect world, on a perfect chassis, with all variables being considered, including the transmission and incorporating all the characteristics of your stepper motor, with my system you see here, you, I've done a video in the past where I was able to achieve 3,000 RPM at 100 hertz. With this multiplier option, not only does it filter the step and direction signals to give you the cleanest possible signal reception, but, uh, and again, you can adjust that with this uh, potentiometer right here, but with these dip switches, in activating them in certain sequence, you can multiply a lock drive's frequency or a breakout board's frequency uh, and unlock it to actually go up to three times its rating. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's talk about it in theory. In theory, if I'm able to achieve at 100 kilohertz on the maximum speed achievable with the G540, 3,000 RPM on a stepper, that means now I can achieve three times that speed, which is absolutely incredible from a drive only rated to 100 kilohertz. So, rather than talk about it, because I get told that a lot, you talk a lot, you don't show us a lot, I'm going to show you something live that no one's seen before because this again is a prototype. I'm, I'm right now finalizing the design, working with Pure Logic on it. This is a really, really cool design. And again, uh, it definitely takes step drivers and of course breakout boards to a whole new dimension in terms of speed achievable for your system. Now, of course, not every system would be able to achieve maximum speed, but it would certainly give you more potential because drives that are locked or breakout boards that are locked at a certain frequency, you could go above and beyond. So let me show you exactly what we got here. We've got a 600 ounce motor. I've got it connected to the Y axis. I've got, once again, the fan disconnected from the chassis to make sure everybody can hear okay when I turn everything on. We have our reflection strip here so that when I run it under the tachometer, you guys can see the actual RPM rating. Okay, so if I come over here to configuration in Pumotics and I click on settings, and I'm going to come over here to axis. You can see on my Y axis, I've got a velocity set at 331 uh, as far as the actual velocity. Now, what's interesting is the steps frequency is set at 89 hertz. Well, it's not 89 hertz because when I activate dip switch 4, what it's doing is multiplying the frequency by 2. So, let's see exactly what we are running. 89. 0.679 times 2. Now we're running at 180 hertz. That by all end means with the regular drive means it would be unattainable. You would never be able to do that. No software would allow you to do that. This board goes between the software to allow you to do that. And rather than talk about it, once again, we're looking at 179 hertz. We know max RPM at 100 kilohertz would be 3000 RPM. We're going to see what we achieve now with the box. Once again, everything here is set. Uh, and again, I did turn down the acceleration because you're gonna hear why when this sucker turns on, it's gonna be pretty crazy. Go through. Okay, we turn our module on. And there you go, boys. We'll let it just find its home. There we go. Well above 3,000 RPM at 100 kilohertz, and it's just finding its home. Just trying to get my angle correct. There we go. And she should lock in. 
right there. Okay guys, I'm going to get her going in the other direction now and you'll see the speed will be the same. There we go. That's right now running at 179 kilohertz, which as far as I know, exceeds anything capable with a G540 I've ever seen and probably exceeds most drives that are out there as far as RPM. We'll see if she just tacks right back. There we go. Get that reflection right. Pretty amazing. So again, just stay tuned for this. Uh, I'm going to do more bench testing type uh, videos because I find that a lot of guys like seeing this. They like getting you know hands on with uh, new technology. Something else about this board that's really cool, you'll see the LEDs that are built in to actually show you the steps. And you can see it right there. So when I get asked that question, how fast can a stepper motor move, you guys are starting to see the capabilities here that really it's, it's pretty much endless. We're getting to the point now where things are getting kind of crazy. But again, I hope that this video has been uh, enlightening and I hope it's been enjoyable for you. Uh, please, if you guys have questions, require quotes, consultations, whatever it may be, please contact me direct at storm2313 at gmail.com. You can also message me through my eBay store, eDealers Direct. You'll see the links in the beginning of the video and at the end. I thank you all for your support. Take care.